Hey, what is up? It's Prism. Uh, just wanted to come back in with another video on another game with another cheese, I guess. Um, this was not found by me. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research to uh, actually get the, or sorry, find the video that I found um, for this glitch to work. Um, I'm going to briefly sort of sum up how it works for you guys, but I do encourage you to check out the uh, original posters video, um, because I, this wouldn't have been possible without him anyways, I wouldn't have known about this at all. Um, essentially, the quick rundown is that you're going to want your Aether Shroud, and you're going to want uh, Thorns, I don't remember what they're called, Toxic Thorns or whatever it is. Um, and you're going to be going up to a certain door in Firebase Z, looking out of the uh, zombie spawn window. And then you're going to use your Aether Shroud um, Tier 3 and above, I think it is, to uh, teleport through that door and uh, sit in a certain spot. Uh, there's a few things that can happen. Um, that The video that I was going to uh, sort of show people doesn't necessarily address. Um... It does address the main issue, which is that mimics can pull you through the wall, uh, and that's that will completely destroy your um, run because I mean, you have guns that do eleven damage versus things that have thousands of HP. Um, other than that, the maulers I want to say they're called uh, will sometimes glitch to the side, and since you have that constant UAV. Um, you can kind of see when that happens. Uh, all you have to do, uh, or all I've been doing to make that reset, is you stand up and you back up to one of the palm trees that you have to go around to start the glitch. You'll know what I mean if you see the other video. <laughs> and um, they will sort of reset and start running towards you. That's when you can go back to the spot that you're going to wait and camp at. Um, the spot that was in the initial clip. Of this video uh, here I'm just showing off a couple different random rewards that I got from one uh, small play session in this and I mean all of these I got two 10,000 XP tokens I mean you know it's it's sort of nuts how much this can give you uh, even just for one sitting and um, the run I got last night I believe was getting into the 60s before uh, things started really kind of hitting the fan and there was too many zombies and I get pulled through multiple times <laughs> um, but yeah that's I, I will say uh, after about round 40 it starts to get harder and harder because the mimics are way more aggressive and will try to pull you through a lot uh, more often if I could speak English that'd be great <laughs> um, but yeah I basically just wanted to get this out there for everyone before it's patched for sure uh, this is by far the best way to level up. As you can see, I got 119,000 experience just for sitting there for a while. Um, really, all you have to do is kill zombies till 7, or uh, around 7-ish. You have Aether Shroud. You can shroud through the wall, immediately switch your class to something with thorns, and then you're going to essentially kill zombies through the wall until you have thorns and spray it at the wall. Uh, and then zombies should be attracted to you from there on out. They should keep running into the thorns and keep dying, and it should just be an infinite loop. Um, like I said, mimics, maulers, they have issues, but there's workarounds. Uh, for the mimics, you can lay down in a certain spot. And for the maulers, like I said, you just back up and uh, go back to where you were. So that was it for the vid. Uh, I hope this helped you guys rank up, and uh, I will be posting the original vid in my description. Thank you so much to everyone, and I appreciate the support. Peace out.